Week 14. And we are going up against the New Orleans Saints. 9-3. and three. And Drew Brees leads the NFL in touchdowns. But we're going to go look more at standings. We are ninth overall. ninth, And in the NFC, we are 4th. And the Saints are 3rd. Ooh. This is a... A very big time game. Actually, going back to the standings, a lot of the same divisions. Eagles, Cowboys, Giants, same division. Panthers, Saints, I'm pretty sure they're in the same division. Hmm. Not a lot of teams could make it. Seahawks won their last game finally out of the drought. Oh, look at this Saints stats. 3,030 touchdowns and 9 interceptions. And that leads the NFL in touchdowns. 30. And we have been on a drought for passing touchdowns. 18 still. And now we verse the Saints in a big, big conference uh, game. Matching hundreds. It's a coach. You're set for Madden football on EA Sports. Coming up, we'll see teams with a couple of running backs who each went over 100 yards a weekend ago, as it'll be the San Francisco 49ers taking on the New Orleans Saints. With that, let's get over to the Mercedes-Benz Superdome with a call from New Orleans. Here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Two teams trying to stake their claim to postseason football. Week 14 of the NFL is underway. Fielded about a yard deep. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Drew Brees getting ready to lead out the Saints. Last year, of course, another big one for number nine. Set the all-time passing yards mark, moving past Peyton Manning. Finished second in the MVP balloting and led the Saints to within a whisker of their first Super Bowl berth since 2010. That he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 12 yards there, good for a Saints first down. And there we see an early burst that makes him one of the leading rushers in the league. Well, I want you to know, I listened to you yesterday when we were watching film. You said, write down the word vision for him. It was on display there, wasn't it? It certainly was, because he allows the blocks to set up in front of him. And if that continues, it could be a long afternoon for those guys trying to play some defense. Just a yard on the catch there. It'll be second and nine. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high power, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20 because to me that's the magic number 20 points scored gives yourself your, you give yourself your best chance to win so if they're up around 24 28 30 they could be in some trouble and i think so because then you turn it into a shootout and that means your offense has to keep pace breeze now that'll be complete to cook seven yards the pickup on the pitch and catch able to get seven on that first down pass play second and three now, Breeze again. This is complete to Michael Thomas. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers 26. Breeze going to come up here first and 10. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. A first down run, good for about three. Second and seven coming up. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. They fake the give. Here's Breeze. Complete. Smith has it. 50 catches for him now on the year. He's got a first down. Breeze going to come up here first and 10. And he's a perfect 5 for 5 here to begin the game. Here's Breeze to throw. On the check down, he finds Kamara. Call it a gain of three, and it'll be second down. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven, back to the ground, it's Kamara. 
And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. The numbers there for Camaro from a week ago. 20 carries, 108 for the yardage and the score, too. And they love what they've got in him. He's the number four rusher in the league right now. So you looking for Thomas. He's got him. Touchdown, New Orleans. Michael Thomas, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Saints take it right down the field and score on the opening drive. Lutz good on the extra point. And that makes the score 7-0. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So now here are the 49ers under third-year coach Kyle Shanahan. They'll be led out by their quarterback standing at 6-2 from Eastern here Illinois. Go, go, it's go, Jimmy go. Garoppolo. I know we were assigned this game, but let's face it. This is the one we wanted, isn't it? For a chance to watch an MVP candidate performed down the stretches four weeks ago. How are you feeling about his chances? Well, I think he certainly has a shot. It's going to determine what he does and what the others around him do for these last four weeks. But more MVP chatter, it seems like, every year as you hit the month of December. This year's going to be no exception. Yeah, I know he's not ranked number one right now. But if he plays up to his capabilities, I think he's going to win the thing. There's a throw over the middle. It's taken in by his tight end. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Seven yards there at a first down. Garoppolo on first down. This is Coleman with a grab. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. The Niners have the first down on a gain of 11. The former Purdue Boilermaker, Raheem Mostert. Big Sheldon Rankins there to bring him down. But a look now at our starting defense. And they come into this one down at the 27th position in the league, Charles, against the run. And stopping the run, that's been an issue for them all season long. Aren't you glad that you're not coaching the defense right now? I'm very glad. They said that they've seen it in doses, but very, very small doses. Yeah, you've got to be consistent. It's down in and down out, being able to play it, understand what you have to get done, and finally stop some people, put them on the ground. Here's Garoppolo to throw. This one complete to Coleman. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. How about this for an opening drive decision? You got fourth and short, just outside of field goal range. And now on fourth and one, it's a fake. And they are going to stop him on fourth and one as they'll wind up going backwards. A little trickeration there, but it doesn't fool this defense. And the Saints will have the football back. A good starting spot for the Saints as they come up first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. They will get four yards here on the first down run, and that'll make it second and six. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. From just shy of midfield, Breeze out of the backfield. That's complete to Kamara. There's Kamara try to run for it. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. He needed three, he got two. Now that'll set up an interesting situation here on fourth and a yard. So many things going to making a good play on defense. In this situation, just not being blown out of the way was a big start and then a nice tackle to finish things off. Garoppolo going to bring the Niners up here first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Mostert. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. These are his numbers from last week's contest. And Charles, how do you think he ran the football? I thought he definitely had his moments. I did think that they could have utilized him a little bit better, and I'm definitely going to keep an eye on him to see how they're going to use him this week. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. This is Mostert. And he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. Now Mostert. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. 
The 49ers with the football here to begin the second quarter. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Taking a shot for Samuel, and that's caught inside the 30. Touchdown, 49ers. Debo Samuel, his ninth touchdown of the season, as they are now on the board here in the first half. As a fan, is there anything prettier than a well-executed post route? No, it's a thing of beauty, especially when it's done like that for a touchdown. Uh, the throw, the catch, and how about the run after to get it to the end zone? So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. This is taken at his four. And a nice job there as he gets this one up just shy of the 35-yard line at the 34. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. Then they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, realize it hasn't worked <laughs> go to so something well, else. and maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Breeze now to throw. Open man is Michael Thomas. And he's got the first down as he's up to the 45-yard line. Breeze on the hook up to Thomas for the New Orleans first. Breeze now nearly perfect. 9 of 10 in this first half. It's first and 10. The catch is made. Benny Fowler. Give him nine there on the first down completion. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. There's Breeze. And brought in by the tight end Cook. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers 27-yard line. Now a first down carry. It's Kamara. And only a yard this time as he's taken down right around the 26. On second down, Kamara. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. Back-to-back one-yard runs here, so that leaves him with a third down at eight. Now Breeze on third down. That's to his running back. It's Alvin Kamara. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. And he's going to pull his way down to about the one-yard line. A good run on first down, and now they contemplate a second and goal situation. On second and goal, Breeze. And he's got him. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Benny Fowler. His second touchdown on the season. And the Saints have taken the lead. So second and goal there from the one, they go to the air. And the perfect down to throw the football in this sequence. Second down is always kind of that, do they throw it, do they run it? They worked it out to perfection on that one by throwing it into the end zone. This fielded at the two. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offensive tummy. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense get the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. Let's go, defense. Let's go, defense. Now it's the Florida Atlantic alum. This is Alfred Morris. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. 47 is the mic. 47 is the mic. On play action. Now Garoppolo. Open man is Pettis. It's complete. 
And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 45-yard line. Well, Pettis is quickly becoming the number one receiving option for Jimmy Garoppolo. In the last year, John Lynch said that they loved the way he closed the season, really came on late. Remember, this is a guy that they traded up to get at number 44 back in 2018 out of the University of Washington. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. There's Moster. And good running, going to get this down close to a first at the Saints 37. The Niners on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This time they face a third and two. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. Well, they picked up a portion of it, but not all that they needed. Now that leads to a decision on fourth and one. Let's see what they decide to do. And he missed it. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Now listen, now no kick from 50-plus is a gimme, but here you're indoors in a dome. You'd think ideal conditions. Yeah, and it's one that he would expect himself to make, not just us expecting him to make it. Over the years, my theory is very simple. The athletic ability of kickers continues to get better and better. Check their background. They were all county, all state, and other positions, not just soccer players. These guys expect themselves to be great as well. The Saints on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This will be third and six. Now Breeze. And this is Cook with a grab. Well, the two men come together, and it's incomplete. Excellent work defensively. Brings up fourth down. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, this time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. To throw is Garoppolo. And that is incomplete. Not much going on this drive. Looks like they're going to have to punt it away, CD. And right now, I know a lot of their fans are screaming for the OC to change things up, get away from what he's been calling. Sometimes you just need better execution of the plays that have been called. 51 yards on the punt there. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. Alvin Kamara and the Saints set to start their next drive. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter. Been nice and effective for them, hasn't it? He? he has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, you've really done some damage in an NFL game. And now he's looking just to add to his totals. Throwing on first down is Breeze. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Now Breeze. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Cook. Breeze now on first down. Oh, nearly a disaster there on the check down. But they'll get it back. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Breeze to throw again. They'll set up the screen now to Kamara. And give him nine yards on the second down screen play. Came up a little short on the last pass play. They did get nine yards out of it. Leaving him with his third and one. Breeze now. Now Breeze lost the football. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual 
for the team that lost it to get it back because this is, this is a quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. Good starting field position for the 49ers as they have it first and 10. Just shy of midfield at the 48. And that's the risk of the long field goal miss here at this stage of the second quarter. You give up great field position. And that gives them one more opportunity to make something happen and something big. And we've seen crazy stuff happen at the end of the halves. To throw again on second down, Garoppolo. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. On play action, it's Garoppolo. Oh, a battle for it here, and this will be caught. And now the Niners going to signal for their third and final timeout as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. Now Garoppolo finding his safety valve here. That's complete. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Garoppolo, a final shot here before half. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we, You want the third quarter already? No problem. Let's do it. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This is fielded at the goal line. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. We remind you that coming up later tonight, Sunday Night Football, seems like we've seen the Seahawks quite a bit in prime time the last few weeks, and we get them again tonight as they head down to L.A. to take on the Rams, and then tomorrow night for Monday Night Football, under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Demario Davis. The blitz works to perfection as he gets in there to dump him for a loss of eight. You know, despite the scoreline, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. Oh, here's pressure, and the Saints block it. Well, if you're ever wondering, should I believe my special teams coach about, you know, these plays are valuable? Think no more. Huge play, big block, and now they've set up their offense inside the 10-yard line. A chance to score. Got a man open. It's Thomas. It's a touchdown for New Orleans. Michael Thomas. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Saints able to stretch that lead out further. Lux with the extra point. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors. But that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. On first down, Garoppolo. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. First down, San Francisco, the pick up 14 yards. Garoppolo now. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. They'll get a dozen there, and it's a first down, 49ers. Here's Garoppolo on first and 10. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Garoppolo on the draw to Coleman. And they see right through that defensively as he'll be hit and taken down to the backfield. This offense a desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. A shotgun snap for Garoppolo. Open man is Samuel, complete. And to the 49-yard line, but no further. And obviously, he is well short of the first. One thing I can say pretty safely, 
that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you're going to lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong-armed guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. So Bree's going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 at their own 27 to throw. It's Breeze. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Kawan Williams. And they'll start out with great field position at the 47-yard line in enemy territory. And he'll give it here to his running back. Marcus Davenport there to take him down. Again, they'll run it with Moster. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Here we go, here we go. So third and two. This quite possibly four down territory, though, if they're stopped. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. Now we've got whistles and a timeout here. Yeah, it looks like we've got a 49er that's down on the field. We'll check on his status when we get back. They'll run with Coleman on first down. Down to the 30 after a gain of three. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. They will run again with Coleman. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. The Niners have the first down on a gain of 11. Here we go, here we go. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. Now they'll throw with Garoppolo. Completes it to the tight end, Kittle. The completion good for three, and it's second down. Here we go, here we go, here we go. first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Garoppolo. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. Seventh play of the drive upcoming here on third and six. Garoppolo looks to throw. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. One of the money routes for any offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because... The receiver can stop at any point and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. But I love the communication we saw there. All the defenders pointing out the receiver, where he was going, and then they're able to rally to the ball after the catch and stop him short of a first down. CD, you know there were quite a few Bears fans back in January saying, why didn't we hold on to that Robbie Gold guy? Well, it's a legitimate question. 33 of 34 for San Francisco in 2018. The crazy stat of the year, he missed more extra points, too, than he did field goals, one, in the 2018 season. They go back to the air here after the IMT on the last drive. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. Breeze leaves this one with Kamara. Only a yard of the pickup there, so it leaves them needing a conversion here on third and a tough nine. From the gun on third down, Breeze. That'll be complete to Cook. And he'll be brought down at the 34, well short of the first down marker. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. Whether you're playing West Coast offense or not, one of the maxims of the West Coast offense is you're either throwing a touchdown or a check down. In other words, look for the big shot, but be smart. I think they did exactly that on that play. They didn't get the first down, but they're taking care of the ball well. Yeah, and being rightly cautious with that lead here in the second half. They'll start out on the ground with Coleman. And he'll find a little space. He gets this up near the 10. Tackle is made by Cameron Jordan. Second down. It's Morris. And a short gain here across the 10 to the 12. Give him three on the play, and they're going to have a third down. 
They'll try and run for it here. It's Coleman. And they're going to get the first down here across the 15-yard line. And they have the first down with that gain of four yards. Right back to Coleman here on first down. And boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. On the draw play, Coleman. And he'll find some space up to about the 25. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Back now here live in New Orleans. It's 49er football, but some ground to cover. They find themselves behind as we hit the fourth and final quarter. And able to haul it in is Kittle. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Defense was thinking run, and they're dealt a pass of just under 20 yards. Throwing on first is Garoppolo. It's caught by Coleman. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Call it a three-yard gain, and it'll be a second down. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Here's Coleman on the draw. And he's going to take this across the 50 and into Saints territory. The Niners on third down. They've converted five times in their many chances thus far. This time it's third and three. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. Garoppolo on first down. He finds McKinnon complete. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Garoppolo finding his tight end, Kittle. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Garoppolo now, first down throw. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now they'll bring up second down. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. To throw, it's Garoppolo going for it all. And it's complete in the end zone. Touchdown, 49ers. Jarek McKinnon, his first touchdown on the year as his guys are back within a single score. Well, he wasn't the guy they were initially going for, but after going through the progressions, it worked. And you have plenty of people. Easy work. It's easy work. Here we go. Mike 56. Mike 56. Man, that's trash. That's trash. They had to go to the monitor, get an extra look. That's what the technology is for. And this touchdown will count. Well, I guess the coach looked at the two-point cheat sheet, said go for it, get it to a three-point game, and they did it. Yeah, and sometimes you just throw out time of game. You don't worry about that. There's just a feel sometimes in making that call, and he felt good about what he had for a two-point conversion, and now they're only down three and feeling great about themselves. They'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. Charles, you'd said the magic number was probably right around 20 for this defense because they're facing one of the top five offenses in the league in terms of points scored. They've had their moments, but this offense, just a little too good, isn't it? They really are because no matter what you do to make an adjustment on defense, they've had an answer for it. They start the drive on the ground, Kamara. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. It'll be a Saints first down on a pickup of 13. Some good games going on in the early window. This might be the best of the bunch. On first down, Breeze. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. And now they're looking for 19 yards here on third down, following two negative plays. Throwing now is Breeze. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. 
Nick Bosa in there to get him, and on the season now, that is nine sacks for him. Brandon, what I remember most about playing with guys who knew how to rush the passer, they would just tell you, just cover people for me, just long enough for me to get there, and that's exactly what happened on that play. Give him 11 yards that time on the return, and the Niners will go on offense first and 10. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. Going underneath, it's Coleman. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Play fake there to Coleman, now Garoppolo. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. And the Saints pressure gets him. Brought down for a sack. David Onyemata able to get him for a loss of about three. So after the sack, they'll come up on a still manageable second and 13. Pettis hauling this in from Garoppolo. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. To throw is Garoppolo. Going to throw right side here, complete. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Garoppolo on the offense with a first and 10. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. Now Garoppolo, and he's going to go down, back near midfield at the 49. Cameron Jordan in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. Another try after the first down sack. Garoppolo, this one complete to Coleman. Your trip is here, baby. Your trip is here. Well, they don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. They fake the give. Now Garoppolo looks to throw. Open man is heard. It's complete. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. So it's 49er football here as we get your reset. They come up on a first and 10, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. Now Garoppolo. That's to the right side, complete to Kittle. That one good for the completion percentage, but no gain. It'll be third down. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. He's got the first down inside the ten. And down to the seven-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And now all of a sudden, this, and he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Cameron Jordan in there to take him down, and the clock will roll. Back to throw. And he's got it. They'll still have a third and goal now, despite picking up 13 yards on that pass play. He'll look to throw, and this is caught. Touchdown! And they've taken the lead here in the final minutes. Wow, I know it's a never-say-never never situation, but to me, that looks like that's the one that's going to finish them off. The score that... Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. This is going the other way. But he doesn't get far. They're able to stop him. And after all that, the extra point attempt unsuccessful. Oftentimes, when you give up a touchdown, it's really a deflation for your entire unit. And the special teams crew, when they run out there, they still feel it. And maybe they don't go after it so much. Instead, they gave great effort there, blocked the extra point, and really gave them a lift after giving up the score. Yeah, gave up the touchdown, lost the lead, but a nice job to get in there and block it. Complete. Smith has it. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this fourth quarter. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. He's back to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. Oh, a 
a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked by Kevon Seymour. Thomas, the intended target. And that one, oh, it's going to hurt big time. You're in the two-minute drill, trying to get your guys down the field, and it's looking like they're going to go up just short, as this is definitely not his best throw. And it'll wind up being intercepted. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two, as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go in the football game. And they take a knee. Now the Saints will use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. And they'll indeed take a knee. Great come from behind victory in this one, Charles. And really the difference, obviously, was that fourth quarter. They dominated. And it has to start with believing that you can make that comeback. Because we've been in games before. We've done games where you can just look at one team and realize they have no chance of making it back. Not in the one we just saw here. They did it, and they did it well. So for the 49ers, the win is their eighth on the year. And they will head back home next week meanwhile for new orleans it's a loss that could have implications on the playoff race as they fall to nine and four and they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week and for charles davis and our entire crew i'm brandon gordon you've been watching the nfl on ea sports